All right then, gang. So to fully appreciate the true and awesome power of PWAs, you're going to have to understand service workers because these dudes right here are the beating hearts of progressive web applications. They allow us to do all of the different things that you would expect from a modern app that runs on a mobile device, such as load content offline. So you can still open and view the app without an internet connection by using cached assets and data. They also allow us to use background sync so that if a user tries to perform an action while they're offline that normally requires a connection, for example, posting a status update, then it will perform the action in the background when a connection is re-established. And that's really awesome. They're also going to allow us to do things like use push notifications so that our app can notify users on a device of something, for example, new content, reminders or new messages they might have on the app. So these are the kinds of things that service workers allow us to do. But what exactly are they? Well, in simple terms, they are just JavaScript files. But they're not the kind of JavaScript files that you're probably used to writing for your websites. Let me explain. So when you create some kind of website, you might have a mix of HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. And then you upload those files to a server. When you request them by going to the web address, we see them in the browser, right? And we see that website. Now, this JavaScript file right here, this runs on a single thread inside the browser, which is tightly coupled with the HTML page. And it can access the DOM and manipulate page content. So this connection between the JavaScript file and the DOM content is quite strong. It's coupled together. Now, when we create a service worker JavaScript file, it doesn't run on this same thread as our regular JavaScript files. It runs on a different thread in another part of the browser, isolated away from the HTML page. Now, because of that, this thread right here, it does not have access to the DOM. So it cannot directly read, change, or remove page content. Instead, our service workers have a different job to do. Service workers run in the background. They are a background process. They even carry on running in the background when our app closes, whether that be closing a browser tab or the whole application in a mobile device. Now, their job is to handle the app-like functionality by listening and reacting to events which occur in the browser, such as push notifications made from a server to the browser, or fetch HTTP requests made by the browser, for example, to get an image or CSS or something else. And this is their job. So a service worker runs in the background listening for these different events, and then it can react or do something when an event occurs. Now, what exactly they do at that point, we're going to talk about later on as we implement service workers into our app. But the important point here is that they run on a separate thread they do not have access to the DOM and they sit in the background listening for events and then they can react to these different events. OK, so that's the crux of service workers. They're a background process that run on a separate thread from normal JavaScript and they listen to these different events and react to them. And we'll learn all about that as we go forward through the rest of the course. Now, there's also another set of events as well as these things that a service worker can listen to and they are called lifecycle events. And I'm going to talk about those in the next video.